This must be one of the most impressive games on the Super Nintendo. Donkey Kong Country. Now this game for the time was really impressive. And it's, it, it goes to show that you can have brilliant graphics and brilliant gameplay. Now we all seen games like Rise of the Robots. Really good graphics but everything else it was rubbish. Now this game really good graphics really good sound and everything but they finished it off with brilliant gameplay and today I'm going to show what this game's like on the Super Nintendo now enjoy must be one of the most impressive startups ever you rarely get an intern again that started up like this. And I love this intro. There's old Grandad playing his crappy old Game Boy music. And there's Donkey Kong with his oversized radio. <laughs> but Grandad's not having any of it. He's going to blow him up. Because it doesn't like modern music. Now well, let's start from the beginning to show you what it's like at the beginning. Let's have one player game. Because there's only one player here. Now let's start with the first level. We had Donkey Kong. In his house, it goes in his house, and there, straight away, uh, extra life. There's a handy tip for you: go in the house, get an extra life. It breaks out. Mm, let's see, is any bananas in here today? Oh no, the bananas have got stolen. Donkey Kong must retrieve his bananas. So now it's time for the adventures of Donkey Kong, running through the woods. Destroying squirrels and getting his good friend Diddy Con out. Now, what I love about this game is the atmosphere. The atmosphere, the sound is spot on. The graphics are nice and smooth and colourful. Very impressive for the Super Nintendo. There you go, knock, knock these overweight soldiers over. Now, somewhere around here, you, you could find a rhino. And there's also secret passageways, if you remember where they are. Oh, I just realised I missed an, an ostrich golden egg thing. And here we go. And there's always a secret thing here. And we get the extra life right at the end. Then we come out. Let's knock over this big pig. I think we're near the end now. Come on. Yay. Now I have to cut it down because of the 15 minute time limit. So let's skip to when we see Grandpa. Good old Grandpa. Always telling us what to do. Now, I like this level. This is a, a water world level. There you go. See, this is what I love, the, the background, the, the fishes in the background. There's a lot of attention to detail here, especially for, you know, a console that had limited power like the Super Nintendo compared to today's standards computers. It's really amazing how they do it. And I think somewhere around here there's a, a shark you could jump on. See yeah, I can find it. Yeah, here we are, we're on the... I think it looks like a little shark or something. I don't know what type of fish that is. I think it's a sawfish. And here, I'm trying to get this extra life. But it disappears. Hmm? Huh? Bit of bad programming there.
Now, I don't know if you agree with me, but I would, is there a game on the Super Nintendo that's more impressive than this? You know, alright, oh there's, there's Star Wing and Stunt Racer FX, but the graphics are very blocky, and by today's standards, it looks very outdated. But I, I think this game has aged very well. You know, just to say it's a 1994 game. I think we're near the end of here now. Almost near to the end of the level. I think we are. Oh, I got the G. And here we are, we're at the end. Hooray! Now, it's not much use for this geezer yet, because I think this is how you could quickly get to levels that you've already done, but obviously we've not got far enough into the game yet to benefit. Now this is a bit where you could save your game. See she's kissing Donkey Kong, she obviously fancies him, but he's more interested than saving the game. We're 0.7, so we're slowly getting there. Now it's time to verse the scroll. Now Obviously this is a really easy boss, but the other bosses are really, really hard. And especially the one on the ship I'm going to show you at the end of the video. God, that king's annoying. Anyway, we're now on the second stage. And now we're underground. You see, yet again, it's I love the music, the atmosphere, the the darkness and the bits of light. As that it has that atmosphere to it. And here we are, we are the the frog. Very useful if you want to jump up high and get the you know O's and get the serves. Anyway, I haven't really played the other Donkey Kongs because was there like a Donkey Kong Country 2 and there was a Donkey Kong Country 3 before they stopped um, making Super Nintendo games. And if anybody knows, I never played Donkey Kong 64, but was Donkey Kong 64, was it, you know, um, was it groundbreaking as this game or was it just like another Mario 64 game but with Donkey Kong in? Anyway, now we get to one of the levels I absolutely hate. I hate these mining levels because it's so annoying. Now, it may look like I done absolutely perfect, went for the level without crashing. But obviously, because the YouTube time limit, I have to edit it out. So obviously, it almost took all my lives just to get through this level. I either hit a train that will hit a a mine cart that was left in the middle of the track or I jumped off and fell down like this. Surprised I didn't that wasn't edited out. You see, that keeps happening all the time and oh it gets me frustrated. I was round at a friend's house and obviously we used all our lives just to get through this level. It was just uh, frustrating. And it's a very good level, you've got to be a very quick reaction, but there's one little thing that's unrealistic about it. How's the mining cat got enough power to go up, you know, go up hills and, uh, you know, and get gain speed and everything? It is the cat, you can not even hear engine, you just hear boom, 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 boom. <laughs> So it is 
the first ever you know mining cart that doesn't need to be pushed it just sit inside it will just move <laughs> go environmentalists will love that anyway let's try and get past this level yeah, hey, got a shark. Got two sharks. Now this is the bit where I keep hitting those cart things. I just need to do this level. I need, just need to do this level. I'll be the happiest boy in Leeds. Oh, just missed an extra life there. Come on! You know, I'm just missing those baddies that are coming up on those carts. I suppose if I have to do a top 10 levels that frustrate me, I think this will be near to number 1. Oh, I got hit. But look, I got Donkey Kong left. And there is a god. I completed it. I don't have to do it again. Hooray! Now, I like to show what happens near the end of the game because this game was second hand and somebody almost completed it. So I like to show the, what the end boss is like. I think this is the end boss because I never actually completed Donkey Kong Country. And this is another funny thing. Donkey Kong's want to get all these bananas back but the thing is by the time he gets all these bananas back they're all gone brown and gone off so it might as well just work for new ones to grow on the trees anyway this is the most annoying boss ever an overweight crocodile and it's a fast overweight crocodile as well he's probably eating all my bananas oi a crocodile that likes bananas See, that's annoying, it runs like hell and you just cannot jump over him on time. Anyway, let's start again. There's the flat crocodile, I have to be careful, he's throwing his crown at me. Now, I had a friend that uh, completed this game. And it has like a fake ending to trick you, think, oh I completed it, then it comes back alive. But I haven't completed it myself, so I don't know. I don't think I'm ever going to find out. Because I don't think I'm ever going to get past this crocodile. I don't even know if he's the final boss. But this is, this is the furthest I get up to. Now this is a, another question I'd like to ask. Was there ever a Mega Drive game that was like similar to this? Really good graphics, good sound, everything, and good colour. But not included the 32X, that would be cheating, because that was like enhanced, and you need to put it an add on into the Mega Drive. Because I can't think of one. Anyway, I think I'm going to get killed any moment. And I do. Anyway, but this is game over. And this is the end of my Donkey Kong review. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>